But secondly, I wanted to mention four initiatives that uh, we'd like to announce today. One is we're increasing our resources at Immigration Canada at the Treatment Centre in Montreal. Uh, we're adding an extra floor on that building of, uh, of immigration uh, officials, about 20, to accelerate the process in processing uh, asylum seekers. Secondly, we are going to be uh, setting up the NAVCAN Centre in Cornwall, Ontario, to be able to accommodate additional uh, people for temporary lodgings. Uh, and there are 300 rooms available there under roof, uh, as well as the capacity to build additional uh, uh, accommodations under tent uh, uh, at uh, NAVCAN. And this is to temporarily accommodate whilst uh, looking for more permanent lodgings in the Montreal area. And as you know, uh, it's important to point out that some of the asylum seekers who have come here uh, they're a minority but want to go to Ontario as opposed to, to Quebec. Thirdly, we are continuing mobilizing our consulates to make sure that, uh, that um, those who might wish to seek asylum uh, fully understand the rules under which we operate, which is that uh, unless you are uh, being persecuted or fleeing terror or war, uh, you would not qualify as a refugee and it's important to uh, combat that uh, misinformation that is out there. Imagine that if you're a family coming to uh, Canada thinking that uh, you just have to come uh, and you are told that you do not qualify. It's a very difficult uh, human drama to, to, to live and we want to uh, spare families from having to make that kind of, uh, uh, of uh, decision and something that's not going to uh, end up being what they thought it would be. And finally, I'm announcing uh, a task force uh, which will I will have the honor of presiding, which will include my colleague, Minister Vale, uh, as well as uh, her counterpart in the province of Ontario, Laura Albanese, uh, Minister of Immigration, as well as uh, my federal colleagues, Ralph Goodale, Public Security, and Ahmed Hussein, Immigration. And we are also uh, uh, including in that Emmanuel Dubourg, who is the Member of Parliament for Bourassa. And uh, the purpose of that group will be to uh, obviously follow the situation very closely, but also to make decisions uh, accordingly as the situation evolves. And I'm particularly proud of the fact that we have such good relations between the federal and the provincial level.